He's a writer producer who says you can have anything you want, but you better not take it from me. Straight from the jungle, it is David Marker. She is an actress and comedian whose hair reminds me of a warm, safe place where as a child I'd hide the ever so sweet Arden Marine. She's the creator of Nerdtainment, who's been walking the streets at night just trying to get it right, the ever so patient Sarah Atwood. And finally, he's a court jester with a broken heart who's ready to take us to Paradise City. It's Douglas Sarine. Thank you, Sarah. And thank you, everyone, for joining us on Sight Unseen, the guessing game where our distinguished panel attempts to guess the purpose, aims, and possibly even the names of unique websites. As always, the panel gets as many yes answers as they can string together before they get 10 no answers and are defeated by the internet. Panel, how's everybody doing today? Great. Yay, good. I'm thriving. Nice. I'm just living the dream. <laughs> Things are so good for me right now. Oh, wow. That's, that's, that's better than, than, than most people during this, during this time. <laughs> uh, Sarah, you love yourself some survivor. Mm -hmm. You find an immunity idol. Where are you hiding it? Oh, unfortunately, you have to hide it in your crotch, in the crotch <laughs> butt area. You don't talk about it, but that is where you have to. Yeah, it. it's the idiots who put it on their in their wrist. What are you even talking about? You're under kind of, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, thank you, Arden. You got a podcast called "Will You Accept This Rose?" Yes. What's the key to getting that rose? Oh my God, I would say low standards, lots of time in the hot tub, and say. <laughs> You have to know the difference between saying, I'm in love with you, and I think I could get there. I think I'm yep. beginning to fall oh. in love with you. Oh, and what's the know. what's the difference? Is, is I think I love you too far? Apparently, if somebody says, I think I'm falling in love with you, that's basically like a handshake. That doesn't mean uh -huh. anything. It has yeah. to be, I am in love with you. And I wow. think I'm falling in love with you is doled out like like just, you know, like a T-shirt gun when you go to a, yeah. a, a sporting <laughs> event. <laughs> it means nothing. That's you also part. can't be the tattler. You can't go to the bachelor or bachelorette and go and try and bond with them by protecting them. On no. You can't tattle on the house. If you become the tattler, you're cut. Pack your bags. Wow. David knows. David, yeah. David knows. <laughs> He's not the tattler. He's not the tattler <laughs> of this game. This is, this is complex and makes me extra uh, grateful to be in some sort of a stable relationship. <laughs> David, big brother, yeah. without even thinking, give me a great alliance name in three, two, one. Oz Twins. Oz That's twins. the only alliance I could think of. I don't think it's that a That was a big thing, fail, but... David. Big, big fail. <laughs> I'm ashamed um, of myself. <laughs> but none will be greater than our first website. Our first website is a unique URL for a fashion site. And your hint is, a statement on the site is, it's hard for even the most devoted fashion freak to keep up. We give our panel one wild guess just based on that. This <laughs> fashion site, uh, Sarah, what's this fashion site all about? Sneakerheads. Sneakerheads, David. Um, cardigans. Cardigans. Okay. Arden. Resale. Resale. I bet there are fashion sites dedicated to all of those things, but none of them are the fashion that this website is dedicated to. So we will start our questioning with you, Sarah. Fashion that's hard to keep up with. Okay. Is this about one particular type of clothing? No. One down, nine to go, David. Is the clothing for sale on this site? No. Oh. Okay. Two down, eight to go, Arden. Is this a site that talks about clothing that's worn in the media, like on TV shows or outfits that people wear? No, it, uh, like uh, related to TV and yeah, film. Yeah, they'll and have like what they wore. Fashion. Mm -hmm. No, no. Like if I wanted to buy Sarah's shirt, there would be like, mm -hmm. there would be like a link and it would say where I could go buy it. Okay. Uh, you guys can discuss that after the show. But, uh, <laughs> this website I need your nothing, shirt. Give me that shirt. <laughs> nothing Very to do with that. Three down, seven to go. Oh Sarah. my God. We've, we've gotten nowhere. Uh, and a bunch well, of notes. We've gotten somewhere. Even okay. nowhere. So it's not about one thing we're not selling. So um, would we call this about a trend, like a style? Mm. That's difficult. I, I want to say no, it's not about a style, 
but the if you combine that with the clue of it's hard for even the most devoted fashion freak to keep up, uh, you might say that it's about many styles. So no, nope. <laughs> four okay. down, six to go. That does not help us it. at all. <laughs> is it my my turn? Yeah, David. Uh, is it about all kinds of clothing? Hats, shoes, shirts, pants, like any kind of clothing? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that was an enthusiastic yes. <laughs> well, I'm just excited. You guys got a yes. <laughs> Finally, we got a yes. <laughs> um, oh, do, do you get I to keep go going? Again? He gets to keep going until he gets to Oh, that's enough. exciting. Good luck. Good luck. Good yeah. luck. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Is the clothing from a specific era or time period? Mm. No, other than now. But I'm thinking like 80s clothing or 20s or... I'll have to say no to that. Five down, five to go. Mm. Harden. Does this site highlight streetwear? Yes. There's actually uh, a page called Street Photos. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Would a certain type of enthusiast hunt this down? Like, would, would a very specific kind of fan go to this site? Yes, but I wouldn't think too narrowly. It's, it's okay. a, a broad enthusiast. Um, is this site um, geared towards a specific age range? No. No, I wouldn't say it's a specific age range. Six down, four to go, Sarah. Is this about a certain type of clothing to wear to like a certain type of event? Nope. Like Seven down, <laughs> three to go. <laughs> David. Uh, you guys are actually doing really well. This doesn't feel what? like <laughs> <laughs> This is a stupid question, but I just want to get a yes. Are there lots of photos of the clothing on the site? Yes, there's lots and of photos of uh, of the clothing. And remember, the clothing includes everything. Is it uh, clothing that you would wear if you were if for some kind of sport? No, it is not sports clothing. And you got eight down, two to go. Here's your late round clue. And that is location. Location is the key to this fashion website. Does, does this have to do with a particular city or country? Yes. Does this have to do with Tokyo? Yes, it does. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Did ding, I get ding, it? Ding. <laughs> Yay, Arden! Oh my God! Uh, is it to Tokyo go. streetwear or just Tokyo fashion? That's right. We're taking you to TokyoFashion.com. Ah! <laughs> oh Arden, do you visit this out of regularly? Have you? No, been but I know that like Tokyo is super fun, and I feel oh, like course, yeah. they. I feel like it's all about the show that people put on in the street. Harajuku, oh wow! Yeah. I've been to Harajuku. And I, f it, was it fun? Yeah. And people are dressed like that. Like it's not just in really? photos. Really? Like, and it's all about the, the street photo is like, it is like a big part of it, you know? And, mm -hmm. and it's, it's just this insane fashion. And it feels like it's also not as much, you know, I feel like in the US or Europe, that's more about like the, like the, the labels that we would all maybe read about in magazines here. But I feel like, I feel like Tokyo streetwear is all like often self-expression and like, it's, you know, yeah. it's, what you can come up. I mean, it's just like a, a lot of personal creativity. Absolutely. Right. Look how cool that is. They it's look great. Very cool. That's very I neat. So I, had no idea. I didn't think I was going to get anything today. That's very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I love games. I could play this for like, if you ever have like a marathon, I could play this for like 78 days. <laughs> <laughs> 78 days. Wow. I truly, I never, Dan will tell you, I never tire of games. That poor guy is like, ugh. What's y'all's worst fashion choice that you've made? Oh. Mine was, mine was, oh, um, so many. tucking my pegged jeans Cute. inside of wool socks. That was, that was big in high school. <laughs> what? I did that. The cool Dude. girls did it. Uh, the cool yes, the cool did. girls did do it, and so did <laughs> Douglas. Oh, wow. That's why you were the coolest girl in town. <laughs> I really was. I was in the cool girls club. I remember I was, like, trying to woo a guy in high school, and I wore on a hunt. Like, I was attempting to lose my virginity before I graduated. <laughs> 
Because it was and I had like a week to go. There was like a list oh. of girls, and I was like, I gotta get I've it done. This, I've seen this movie. <laughs> and so I wore my sexiest outfit, which was a bowler hat, an Annie Hall vest, and like a Mormon circle skirt down to my an- ankle, like a fundamentalist circle skirt. And I didn't know we were going like breaking and entering, and we climbed a chain link fence to like break into a public pool and I mm. got to the top of the fence and I jumped and my cir- my circle oh. skirt got caught and I was like dangling from the oh, waist. Oh no. <laughs> well, I mean that is hot. That is that yeah. is really that's So not hot. only was it not looking good it also worked again. It was also a, a cock block if I may say that on here. <laughs> I cock block myself. Yes. I cock myself. It was that's truly really like lovely. a Judd Hughes movie and I was Anthony Michael Hall. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you thought you were Ali Sheedy, and then he's like, "Nope." I'm I was pray. I was trying to be Molly Ringwald. I oh, would have, yeah. you know, anybody, but no, I was <laughs> Anthony Michael Hall. Let's move on to our next website. This is for a product, and your hint is that this product is produced in New York City, and that special limited editions for this product include the Republican National Convention, the World Series at Yankee Stadium, and the first day gay marriage was legal in New York City. We give our panel a wild guess just based on that. Arden, what's your wild guess based on that? Bobbleheads. Bobbleheads, sure. Good guess. Sarah? I like that. Um, a coin? Oh. <laughs> Commemorative coin. coin dot sure. com. Yeah. Franklin Mint, Franklin Mint, sure. David? <laughs> I think it's the I Heart New York t-shirt. Oh, sure. Those are all things I'm sure that, that exist, and some of them are iconic to New York, but they are not the product uh, website that we are looking for. Arden, you spent time in New York, so we'll start with you. Okay, 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 okay. Is this something that would, um, that someone would wear? No, no, someone would not wear this. One down, nine to go, Sarah. Is this something someone would hold in their hands? Yeah, they could, you, they could hold it in their hand. Mm. They could. Yeah, I'm determining size and... Oh, yeah, you can hold this in your hand. Would I display this on a shelf? (laughs) Yes, you would. Is this a plaque? No, it is not a plaque. Good guess, good talk. Yeah, two down, eight to go, David. Uh, Is it something people collect? Wow, tough That's a difficult question (laughs) to answer. Uh, No, these items, the product is not something people collect collect you could you, right you can collect anything but yeah you sure. could collect anything so i'm going to say no three okay. down seven to go Arden. does this product have a use so let's say if it was a mug you could you could display it but then you could also put water in it and drink out of it like is what it what else could you it, put in a mug <laughs> like Vodka. you could put like m ms but then you could, oh, say you had a marble collection maybe you had a little tiny animals like you know earrings <laughs> So is it something that actually is also useful or is it just the object in and of itself? No, it is not useful. It's not also. Think. Yeah. It doesn't have another use. Four down. It's not six, a, it should be a bobblehead. It really should be a bobblehead. It really should. I feel like it should be. Do I engrave things? Does it get engraved? Good no, question. it does not get engraved. Five it down, should. five Maybe to go. You should David. Think about getting engraved. <laughs> does the look or design of this product change to reflect, you know, the the day gay marriage was legalized or the Republican National Convention? I'm going to say yes. The event is reflected, but <laughs> again, there's there's product outside of special these sure. special editions. There's th- sure. those are just special editions. Then there's okay, you know, regular product. Yeah, the the regular product, not the limited editions. Does it all look the same? Is there only one design of this product? No. Each one is unique. Six down. That's crazy. Four to go. That feels like a terrible business plan. How do you come up with each one How do you mass produce that? Yeah. I didn't say it was mass produced. Are these expensive? I'm going to say yes, with the caveat that they are, in my opinion, very expensive for what they are. If you're buying a, you know, fancy Maybach car or something like that, you know that that's going to be expensive and you think you're getting right. your money's money's worth from that. This is something that shouldn't for cost the price, that much. For the price, you would say that is very expensive. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Wow. Okay. So I'm saying okay. yes. Okay. 
Okay. All right. So it's still on me. Guys, do you have yep. any questions yep. for me? <laughs> Help a sister out here. I, think about I, New I York. Really like, think about New York. It's, oh, uh, I was going to ask. I was thinking along the lines of like, is it delicate or breakable? I'm he's trying to saying think of New like, York. So he's saying yeah. we like, know it goes on a shelf. So yeah, think of like landmarks of New York, maybe that we would have like a little statue on a shelf of. Oh, I know they did the lights on the top of the Empire State Building. They do lights for things. I know they did the rainbow for gay right. marriage. Yeah. Does it mm-hmm. have something to do with the Empire State Building? No, and you, I'm not sure you can buy the Empire State Building. This is a but what if I wanted to put it on a shelf and buy it? But, <laughs> right. Like, yeah. you know how I'm a mug works? You can put water uh, in a mug. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, seven down, three to go. Sarah, I'm going to go ahead and give you a late, a late round clue. You should. Please. You should. Please. Yeah. This product is made by a New York based artist and entrepreneur. He started making this product in 2001 after a coworker challenged the importance of package design. Of package design? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck is package design? That's like a box something comes in? Yes, uh-huh. so his, his friend right. said, package design is not important. Doesn't matter. This guy, like, this I'll artist. Show and, you. So think about New York and that idea. Okay. He does this have anything to do with a landmark in New York City. Right. Question, Sarah. No, it does not have anything to do with a landmark in New York City. Okay, because I want to know. With New York. York. Bagels. We've got bagels. Hot dogs. that's, That's everywhere, but maybe... Yellow taxis. We have yellow tax. Oh, yellow taxis. We've got bagels. Okay. We've got slice like this by this pizza by the pizza slice. slices. We've right. Got, Subway. We've got pizza boxes packaging. Okay. Doug says you now can't just, use yeah. it. He says you, you can't, can't use, use it. it. You can't, can't use it. it. Yep. That's okay. what's confusing. When, when I look at the product. Is there something about it that says like this? I know it's made in New York, but when you look at it, do you think like, oh, you must have gotten that in New York? Is it that closely associated with New York City? Yes. The The packaging says New York City on it. says New York City on it. It says okay. I love New York. It's an I love New York love thing. New York. Is there a, a store where I could buy this product? Online store? Not, you mean a physical store? I mean a, a storefront. Brick and no, mortar store. Definitely not a storefront. For the, for oh my God! Person. I can't believe I'm number ten, guys. This is a group effort eight, here. Yeah, eight, eight, yeah. nine okay. down, one to go. Right, Arden, let's talk you about spent, New York. You spent, yeah, you spent time in New York. We've got Central Park. And think yeah. about Central yeah. Park. Think and about again, yes. Think about this artist an entrepreneur an artist. began selling this in 2001 after a coworker okay. challenged the importance of package design. Package design. So design. you're paying a whole bunch of money for something, and this guy's only goal was to prove that package design. For like wrapping paper or ribbon or like I'm not supposed to be guessing right now, but I'm no, 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 but you're helping. (laughs) Um, But he was also saying like it's not useful. That's the thing. It's just an object. It's It's just a display. It's just a knickknack. That's what's confusing. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. What do we Mm want to know that's going to help us with our final question? I wonder if it's something, I mean, this is not a good final question, but I'm just wondering if it's something you keep in the package. You buy this product, like a Funko Pop figure, you know, you like buy it and then you leave it in the the box. box. So I wonder if the package is that well designed. Right. The packaging is... Is this what is this our final question? Is this our final question? You is go with this something that you buy and you leave it in the box? One hundred percent. Thank God. Is it what he just said is it that is it that t- fun- Funko? Funko Pop. Pop. Is that what you're guessing? Funko Pop. No, because no, they're, they're no, Funko no, stores. God, no, no, no. You think I'm an idiot? No. Yeah. Remember when I got Tokyo Fashion? That was so great. Yeah. Oh. So it could be like a pen or anything useful, but it's inside a box. Inside a box. Because the packaging is what counts. So, uh-huh. and it's New York. Each one's, a, it's, each one's 100% unique. I you feel enraged. Things as though they're. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I feel enraged. That's why I'm glad we're doing this virtually so that none of you can slap me in the face. <laughs> is, it, is it something that is it's part of everybody's everyday life in New York? Yes. One hundred percent. Is is it okay? Do we want to ask about like transportation? Like it has to. That's what I'm thinking. Taxi, subway. Does it have to do with transportation? 
No, it does not. Oh, I I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I only had, but I still enjoyed playing. I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to New York City Garbage. What the? What? Dot what? Com. This is right. What? This what? is NewYorkCityGarbage.com that was started by Justin Gignac. And what he does is he goes around and he collects garbage <laughs> and then puts it in his unique packaging that says Garbage of New York City and sells that. And people... Buy it. Buy How it. much? How much? Pop over to the store there. Minimum fifty dollars. Minimum fifty dollars wow. is what you're paying right. for a box. Right. Of, uh, There's no way anybody could guess this because it's so yeah. stupid. Yeah. Not a business. <laughs> it's such a dumb business. You were that, right. This is a bad business model. It's so a terrible business. If you wanted one of the five boxes well they all sold out one of the five boxes from the <laughs> first one. day of uh, that gay marriage was legal in new york city yeah. so uh, it's you would have paid a hundred dollars you would have paid a hundred dollars per box and so you made i mean i like that one the best of all of them i like that i wouldn't right. get the right. rnc one probably i, I think do I love gay marriage. the boldness of saying like yeah packaging matters i'm literally going to sell trash yeah right in a nice package and people will buy it and that's and exactly what he did. That, yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what his philosophy was. Is, yeah. is the guy said packaging isn't important. He said, I'm going to put trash in this package <laughs> and people are going to buy it. And I will. T- so he, and he sold. Succeeded. Yeah. He just sold over 1,400 boxes of New York oh, uh, wow. City garbage. And good news for people in LA because oh. LA garbage. Is now on the scene. Garbage of Los wow. Angeles. Wow. Oh, thank God. I yeah, right. Wow. Look at this. Venice and Santa Monica that. specific, right? Boy, this wow. is really great. Huh. So the garbage is specifically from that marriage. The person went and got litter up off the ground from that event. From the, from the front of the courthouse or for Yankee yeah. Stadium in front of Yankee wow. Stadium. Or, I mean, that is wow. like memorabilia. I mean, that's interesting. It is interesting. It is actually, you know what? He's good at his job. He really is. I don't even know that I would trust a case to hold something from the LA River. (laughs) No, no. (laughs) Yeah, that's Here's a box of hepatitis. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, still not buying it, but interesting idea. Well, you guys did a did a heck of a heck of a good job. No, we didn't. We did uh, it. No, that was we were never gonna get that. Remember when you got Tokyo Fashion? Oh my god, oh, yeah. I was yeah. really living my best life. I yeah. miss yeah. Tokyo Fashion. I was thriving. <laughs> now we're gonna play our internet speed round. I'm right. gonna put 120 seconds on the clock, and you just keep throwing questions at me. It doesn't matter how many you get wrong. Just keep throwing them at me. I'll try and if they still have to be yes or no questions. I'll try and answer as many of them as possible as I can. If anybody says it at any time. We're good to go. Great. We're looking for an architecture website dedicated to one type of structure. We're looking for an architecture website dedicated to one type of structure. Your hint is the site hosts an annual competition, and the last three winners were called Bucks End, The B Eco, and Mushroom. Your time starts now. Is it a tree? Is it a tree house? No, it is not. Is it tree igloos? Is it, it is not igloos. Does it have to do with farming or gardening? Yeah, perhaps. Is yeah. the structure man-made? Yes. Is it a tent type structure? No. Is it a glass house? Is that what they're called? What is that? How where are you? A greenhouse. Grow plants. Greenhouse. Thank you. Oh, Sorry. Greenhouse. No, it is not a greenhouse. Is it made of wood? It can be made of wood. But it's made of various products. Mm-hmm. Or materials. Would, would a human spend the night in it? More than likely not. No. Is it a beehive? <laughs> no. <laughs> is it a barn? Does it have to do with animals at all? No, it is not a barn. No, it does not have to do with animals specifically. Does it have to is do with growing any... pot? <laughs> no, it does not have to do with growing pot. Do you put anything inside the structure? Yes, you do. Is it a shed? A yes, she shed. It is a shed. <laughs> Yes, Sarah. Sarah, do you remember when you got shed? Do you remember when you got shed? It was so exciting. Guys, look at this. Yes. Dot co dot shed, y'all. Shed is the best. Oh, that looks fun. Oh my god, website dedicated to shed. 
I if like you that want to do some shed. Sh- Look yeah, at that. Look at this shed building. If you want to do some shed building. I want to oh, build yeah. a shed. Yes. Looks so nice. I like yeah. those sheds. Sheds are fun. Guys, here are the previous uh, Shed of the Year winners. They Whoa. look like they should have won. They're really cool sheds. Oh, I like yeah, that. I'm going to look at this like website. There. And that's oh. the Bee Eco. That's nice. Nice. Oh. Yeah. That's the Mushroom. That's Ooh. awesome. Wow. Shed for them. Store. That one's called West Wing. I like uh, that. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh, look at these. Huh. Way to be creative, guys. I'm going to look that up. I like that. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. With the I like a shed. And you can even watch a little shed TV if you want to. Uh, I do. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to totally watch this. I'm going to that. That's great. <laughs> I know that ladies build she sheds, sort of like yep. how man, men have man caves. There's she sheds. That's exciting. Yeah. I feel like kids yeah. party in sheds. Teenagers party in sheds. Yeah. <laughs> I bet someone has spent the night in a shed. For sure. It's a bit of a doghouse, perhaps. For yeah. sure. Yeah, right. For yeah. sure. You guys did such a great job. Good job, oh Sarah. God, thanks. You guys got that in uh, just over one minute. Like, yeah. that, uh, that's pretty darn quick. Yeah. That's the highlight of my quarantine. Yeah. Oh, that sure. and cutting my own hair. I love cutting my own hair. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to move on to our internet famous round. For this round, the panel tries to guess a famous person or group of people that has an official website. David, we're going to start our questioning with you. We offer okay. no clues whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And we're going to discover this website of a famous person. Go, David. So this is a website dedicated to one person? Yes. And is this person a woman? Yes. And is she alive? Yes. And is she over 40? Yes. Killing is it. She, uh, thank you very much. Is she Caucasian? Yes. Is she famous for acting? No. One down, nine to go. Arden. Wow, that was incredible. I know. Um, Look at all that stuff you got. Okay. Um, is this woman a performer? I'm going to go ahead and say no. Mm. Two down, eight to go. We'll see if you debate that with me afterwards. Right. Okay. But to no possible uh, performer. Is, mm. is this woman in the world of sports? Is she an athlete? No. Three down, seven to go. Is she known for being on television? Yes. Is she a reality star? No. Ish. Is she a news person? Five down, five to go. No, she's not a news person. Not a news. Six down, four to go. Not reality, right not news, but still on TV. Would she be considered a host? Yes. <gasps> oh, okay. Does this woman appear on a talk show? No. Is she on a television show that's currently airing? Yes. David. Seven down, three to go, David. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Sorry. Has she been on multiple different television shows? Yes, yes. And to Sarah's question, she's been on those right. shows. Okay. She's been on a talk show. Mm-hmm. Sure. As a guest? She's been a yes. talk show guest? <laughs> yes. Okay. Has she been a talk show host? No, she's not been a talk show host, oh, okay. but she has been a host. Is Eight she down, a, two to go. Is All she right. an authority on something? Yes. Is it Susie Orman? No, it is not Susie, Susie Orman. I, I could have asked more questions. I got so excited. I just wanted to uh, Nine down, one to go. Sarah, don't. Uh, Ooh, we usually get this one. I should have asked questions. I got cocky. I should have asked until I knew. I should have asked her hair it's color. A good guess. It's a good I, guess. I was just she so is convinced. On a, yeah. Maybe so she's, she's on Shark on a, Tank? She is on a show that's currently on the air. She's an authority figure on something. So she she's could be like a... authority figure on something. She's she been could on, be like a fitness trainer. She could yeah, be like... Or like so a chef. Or, she could be a chef. She could be. Um, I wonder if it's like a Martha Stewart or. Oh, that's interesting. She's that's old. a really oh, gosh. good gosh. That's well, right. Well, first off, we got off on the numbers. The numbers aren't right. So this is stinks that it's oh. on me because if it starts with you, it should end with you. Um, and you started this, David. So I, somehow we got off. Sorry. Um, no, but uh, so I don't know. Should I ask if, if it's a chef, if it's a a what kind of expert it is or i could ask is it like sharp to like ask the show ask if she has um, blonde hair does she no. have blonde hair yes oh thank god okay okay, oh. okay. <laughs> is this person on shark tank no the person oh. is not on shark tank to the best of my knowledge sorry we, guys. have we said her name have shark we said tank. this person's name 
and you have Martha said Stewart. this person's name. Martha Stewart. It is one hundred percent Martha Stewart. Oh, oh got it. It. I got should it. have asked Chef. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Here's good old, uh, oh, good old Martha. Martha Stewart.com. She, of course, I loved does. this game. I loved yeah. this game the most. I could have played that all day. I loved it. <laughs> she does. She does everything <laughs> possible under the sun. We all yeah, know who she, she is. Definitely an authority. I was and, so yeah. certain it was Susie Ormond. I should have just kept asking. I got so cocky. It was Susie Ormond. <laughs> everything from how to make a baby keepsake box to how to prepare for a teledoc appointment. Well, uh, yeah. What can't she do? Good Martha old Martha Stewart. Stewart. Well, what she can't do is stay out of jail. So the way they were, <laughs> she back in jail? I like that she's like just hangs out with Snoop Dogg now and and has like a yes. pet company. I she's like that. in her stoner yes. phase. They say that she's American retail businesswoman, writer, television personality is the thing that yeah. they, they said. Yeah. Now, Former model and convicted felon. Yeah. And convicted felon. It makes her more interesting. I love that she went and she just did it. She sucked it up. She went to jail. She took her, right. she came out with Unlike a cool Lori poncho. And, yeah. like, exactly. Yeah. She just did it right. She yeah. was so New England she about up it. And she went to prison and she then she left up. and. And, we don't and I feel like she thrived it. in prison. Like she taught him how to yeah. like crochet. She made the poncho. Mm -hmm. She made some friends and then she left mm -hmm. like done in yeah. and wow. out. Baller. Her. And her show that she's doing right now is this uh, bake away camp. Oh. oh. And she also has one with Snoop Dogg. Yeah. I think that cooking right. show with Snoop is still on the air. It's still Maybe. going. Yeah. It's so great that I love like the world mm. she's in now. Yeah, Our, your place always looks so like gross. it's some sort of like uh, it does. It looks very crafty. Nightmare Before Christmas version of Martha Stewart. That's what thank you is. so much. Thank yeah. you so much. I'm gonna put that I'm on my website. Thank you. Don't feel that's, that's accurate. Like, no, I just yeah. so I had like my friend quirky, and I did, like it's like in terms of the quirk factor. Yeah, we, my friend and I just did a Zoom photo shoot, and I have all these fake flowers for it. She maybe get this yellow planter, <laughs> and I can't decide if it makes it a little too like cutesy. Should I leave uh -huh. them up? Is it I, like I don't know. They are fun and very know. colorful. All right, I'll it, leave it up for now. In this yeah. time, it has like a good life vibrancy to it. All right. It's yeah. good for, right, I'll for keep right it up now, for now in this world. Okay, good. I would expect yeah. more mugs on that. Um, more mugs, right. More, more, more mugs. There is there's a couple. Pigs in them, like yeah. water <laughs> oh, or penny. Not, you always start with water, it seems Well, like. I didn't know if you knew what a mug was for, but you can put water in a mug. Well, you guys started out so strong and then just tanked from there. Yeah. You guys were Excuse ultimately. Me, we got sheds. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, what? it's two, two. That's right. Thank yeah. you. The score today you. was Internet 2, Panel 2. So you, I guess it was even. That's our show. A special thanks to all the websites we mentioned and to the Internet for providing the cornea that helps us focus on the reflected light of humanity. Please <laughs> like, subscribe, comment, and Patreon entertainment. You won't regret it, and we appreciate it. Uh, Arden, you got a book coming out. Oh my God. Little Miss Little Compton. What's this all about? Um, I'll tell you real fast. I'm the product of two hasty decisions. My parents, uh, my grandparents got married after knowing each other for one day. They got married day two. And my parents were co-workers who never went on one date with one another. And one New Year's Eve, they got engaged on a dare. And they got married uh, six weeks later. And they stayed married for 50 years. And it starts with that. And then they moved to this tiny wow. town, little Rhode Island. And there I be, that's, I'm, I'm the product of a dare. Wow. So wow. If, if, if that's where it starts, you can only imagine yeah. where it goes. People can right? pre-order this book right now. Little Miss Little Compton. Where Little can Miss, they pre-order? Little Miss Little Compton. And if you send the, a screenshot of your, uh, if you buy the book and you send it to rosepodcast at gmail.com, we are doing drawings. We have a lot of giveaways coming up. We have t-shirts we're giving out. We have puzzles that we have. We have all sorts of custom things. So you may as well just email it in. Mugs, you know, you can put water <laughs> in it. Or pennies, yeah, and uh, and so off. we're doing all sorts of giveaways. So uh, it'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Awesome, and they can That's just go so on to Amazon or where are they, where are they going? Your website literally is anywhere. You go to Amazon, you go to Barnes Noble, you could go to your local bookseller website. Anywhere that books are sold, wherever you want to order it from. Little Miss Little Compton, Yay. find it anywhere. 
and pre-order it now. Yes. It's all about the pre-orders. In order to get on that, the New York Times bestseller, it's all right. about the pre-orders. Got to do the Ladies. POs. You got to do the POs. POs. You guys really need yeah. this. These are not don't good. I'm end. lying. I'm lying. I don't have a mug for my water. <laughs> uh, wonderful. For Art Marine, David Marker, and Sarah Atwood, I am Douglas Ryan. Thank you so much for seeing Sight Unseen. And may all of your search results always be optimal. We'll be right